the Internet of Things. IoT is becoming an increasingly growing topic of conversation both in and out of the workplace. It's a concept that not only has potential to impact how we live, but also how we work. But what exactly is the Internet of Things and what impact is it going to have on you anyway? Simply put this in the concept of basically connecting any device with an on and off switch with the internet. This includes everything from cell phones, coffee makers, washing machines, headphones, lamps, wearable devices and almost anything else that you can think of. This also applies to components of machines, for example the jet engine of an airplane or the drill of an oil rig. As I mentioned, if it has an on and off switch, then the chances are it can be part of IoT. The analyst firm Gartner says by 2020, there will be over 26 billion connected devices. That is a lot of connections. The IoT is a giant network of connected things. The relationship will be between people and people, people and things, and things and things. But how does this impact you? The new rule of the future is going to be anything that can be connected will be connected. But why on earth would you want so many connected devices talking to each other? There are many examples for what this might look like or what the potential value might be. Say for example, you're on your way to a meeting. Your car could have access to your calendar and already know the best route to take. Or if the traffic is heavy, your car might send a text to the other party notifying them that you will be late. What if your alarm clock wakes you up at 6 a.m. and then notifies your coffee maker to start brewing coffee for you? What if your office equipment knew it was running low on supplies and automatically reordered more? What if the wearable devices you used in the workplace could tell you when and where you were most active and productive and share that information with other devices that you were using while working? On a broader scale, the IoT can be applied to things like transportation networks, smart cities which can help us reduce waste and improve efficiency for these things such as energy use. This helps us understand and improve how we work and live. 